Well, Steve, uh, our first uh, home defeat. It was it was going to come eventually, of course, probably. Uh, but uh, it was it was a horrible one today, wasn't it? Mm. Four 0 It's kind of strange. I think it flatters them, uh, as in it wasn't a four 0 game. Mm -hmm. um, not that we played well. Um, there's a lot of things that happen within the game, and you know I have to. I'm afraid I've kept away well away from referees this year. Um, I've learned by my mistakes in the past. But I have to say his performance today was for me horrendous. Mm -hmm. He's given two of the softest penalties you'll ever see in football. Those kind of challenges or, or touches or flicks were going on in the whole game, all game, not giving those decisions and he gives us two of the softest penalties. They didn't even appeal for him. Even, even with the first one you felt yeah, that? Totally. It was yeah, totally. as soft as anything. Um, the third one, um, we should have done better with. That's between the, uh, the hope, you know, just a hopeful ball's been put in the box and the keeper and Louis have sort of let a guy, you know, get in between them. Mm. Um, is that keeper error or just I think a combination? Bit, I think a combination, really. Um, right. And then the fourth one was a, wasn't was a free kick. Dominic's won the ball first mm -hmm. and the guy's gone over him. He gives a free kick and the guy bends it in the top corner. You know, you can't stop the delivery execution. It's sure. good, but it wasn't a foul. Yeah. And he, as bad as we were, as bad as the referee was. And he mm -hmm. cost us certain situations in, in the game that were never penalties. We yeah. haven't gotten a team appeal for a penalty in the game and you get, they get two penalties like that. Even their manager was looking at me thinking, bemused by his decisions. Sure. But I wasn't surprised. Um, yeah. I had the guy last year in one game and he calls the same thing again. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So it's disappointing as we were and it's disappointing as the contribution of the referee to the game. Mm -hmm. uh, we weren't good enough to, to break them down. If Michael took his chance in the first half... Yes, I saw you going yeah, spare I, on the touchline. I, touch felt, I felt he should have took it early sure. um, instead of trying to go round the keeper. Then it could have been a different game. Yeah, like they, you know, they've won the game four nil. You know, you'll pick up the paper and you'll see four nil. But that wasn't a four nil game, and they're not four goals better than us. Mm -hmm. I looked at their side, and they comp compete. They they challenge for every ball. They compete for the second balls. Uh, the forward, the the, the blonde boy, um, I think played ten today. Very good player. Yeah. Uh, pulls into holes, very good feet, and caused us problems. Sure. Um, but we didn't seem to have our usual bite and fervour and enthusiasm for the game today. Is that fair? Yeah, I, I would say that. I would say we, we, we didn't call, we didn't ask enough questions of them. Mm -hmm. And to be fair, we have done here. You know, we've yep. won seven out of seven at home, and we can't grumble with that. And today was bad day at the office, as in. We didn't ask enough questions of them. We've mm -hmm. got players that can ask questions of anybody at this level. And we didn't ask enough of them. Mm -hmm. So as much as I'm frustrated with my own team's performance, I'm obviously frustrated with some of the decisions that and, and, and cost us, cost yeah. us the game. Sure. But it's a long season and uh, mm. you know there's plenty of time. Well, you had, you had the players out on the pitch for a long time after the game. Um, what what I just, was said there? I just feel that... Um, if a team come here and, and pass us off the park or score fantastic goals, then you've got to hold your hands up and go, you know what, mm -hmm. we weren't good enough today, but they've made two or three passes, has bent one in the top corner, etc., etc. We've given them the goals yeah. along, with, along with the decisions from, from the ref. Mm -hmm. So they haven't actually earned any of the goals. Mm -hmm. You know, he gives a free kick outside the area, it wasn't a free kick, guy bends it straight in. The guy puts a hopeless cross in the box that Louis and the goalkeeper collide and he just heads it in from the goal line um, and then the guy gives two penalties so they ain't earn a 4-0 mm -hmm. result that's what I'm sure. constantly what I'm trying to say um, I wouldn't dress up our performance in any way we didn't pass the ball well enough mm -hmm. we were going long too much um, and I don't know why we kept going long and long we are good when we passed the ball yeah didn't pass the ball that today. did seem very strange to me because it's not like we got some big bloke up front to. Um, no, Boovey's always going to win a majority of his headers. To be fair yeah. to Boovey, but why, why are we going long? No one's sure. given them instruction to go long. We are so much better when we play short, quick, mm -hmm. and sharp. We didn't do that. So really, with all those combinations, it was bad that in the office. Sure. How's uh, Nick Giardini? I saw he, he picked up a. He always seems to be getting a knock these days. Seems a bit unlucky. Is he is he okay? Or? Yeah, Nick's okay. He's I okay. Nick was probably our best player today. Sure, absolutely. Um, defensively, as well, we kept that uh, their winger quiet. And I'd watched the winger in the previous game. He's a very powerful, quick boy. 
Yeah. But Nick, Nick, Nick dealt with him all game, really. So, and then he attacking a couple of times, made a couple of great sure. balls in that we should have got on the end of. You've been playing him at left back for yeah. uh, a good few weeks now. Is, is there a reason for that? Because uh, earlier in the season you were playing Dominic Sterling at left back occasionally, and now you've put Nick there. Yeah, I just for, for Nick, he's you know when he was at Farnborough, he played thirty games at left back in the Conference South, so I know he can play there. Mm. It's not, but Nick's one of those who can play anywhere really, and I just think he's. We've done well with him playing there, and I didn't mm -hmm. want to change the shape of the side. Okay. And it's only up to today when we've lost four. Sure. That, you know, I, I wouldn't point fingers. They've all done really well, and it's nothing to get, you know, carried away with. We've we've lost the game four nil, and, and, and that's the be all and end all, really. Sure. Uh, the good news is we've got another game in quick succession, Margate mm -hmm. on Tuesday, and I imagine you'll be looking for a powerful response from the rooks for that one. Yeah, but again, tough. Margate have got a very good away record. They've got yep. a guy up front that scored 16 goals already. Um, so, it's, there's no easy games. Sure. If anything, they're competitive, the games at this level. Mm. Um, I think the league is, is an okay league. I don't think it's anything special. Um, but, you know, you've got to go out there and compete. And, and if we compete, we have got talented individuals that can win us football matches. Sure. So, you know, you look at the league around the league today, like, you know, Lois Doff's lost at Tooting, Berry's yeah. lost, Camp has lost, you know, there's a lot of teams in the round, yeah, yeah. you know, it's, it's so close, it's not even worth talking about league tables and things sure. like that, I mean, there's 30 games to go, 90 points to play for, Yeah, it's, it's you know, we are sure. where we are, we're having a good season, so up to date. Absolutely. Um, we, we had a good uh, good week off the pitch for the club and we launched this support and save scheme and I know that you have now bought a, a share, perhaps seduced by the support <laughs> and save scheme. And here is your uh, owner's badge. There it is, a beautiful badge. I will now present that to you. Thank, Thank you very much for buying a share in the club. Thank you very I much. I hope to see that badge on your menswear <laughs> collection on the touchline as of Tuesday. Thank you very much. Best of luck on Tuesday. We're looking forward to it. Okay. Cheers, Cheers. Steve. Bye.